gets the break. And he's cramping. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. Both quads here cramping. Hey, what's up, everyone? Keenan here from MP Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great today. In a recent video, we talked about how to fuel your body and how that can have a big impact on your game and how you play and the success you have. But sometimes, even when we take all those steps to properly fuel our body and be ready for our matches, something comes into play. And that is cramps. Cramps suck. So today I'm gonna to be talking about cramps. In fact, I had a recent experience with cramps just being last week playing against the Adelphi number six and I cramped in the third set. Now the guy I was playing was a very solid player all, all around. Actually used to play for the Bermuda Junior Davis Cup team. Had a very solid forehand and was just overall really consistent. So I won the first set 6-4. Um, was kinda, got a little bit of happy camper in the early in the second set. Uh, Fell a little bit of a fell apart a little bit in the second set. Made some shots uh, that weren't so great. Uh, lost that set six three, and then I got back into the groove in the third set and got up to a five two lead. But note that it was a long grueling match. A lot of the points were long. This guy was making me play. He was he's just a solid grinder. At number six, right? So. Then some cramps started to happen at 5-2 in the third set. Not quite the time to start cramping when you're serving uh, for the match. And in fact, he broke me to go back and held serve to go 5-4. Had a chance to seal the deal again, couldn't do it because I was cramping. So um, this is something that happens as tennis players and I'm excited to talk about this with you guys today. So lost my serve at 5-5 and thankfully, I broke, I don't know how I did it, but I did to go 6-5, and I held serve to win the match 7-5 in the third set. So, you can win with cramps, but it's very difficult. I think uh, my serves might have been like 50 miles an hour uh, in that last game, but I was able to figure it out, come to net, take some time away. But that was my experience last week. Now we're gonna talk about cramps in general, what they are, how can you avoid them, and some things you can do uh, to help your cramps on the tennis court. So what exactly is a cramp? Now a cramp is something uh, when your muscles contract and can be very, very painful. Now this can be caused by overuse, muscle strain, dehydration, and a couple other things, but those things that I just said, how they're caused, happen to tennis players a lot. A lot of tennis players are overusing their muscles. A lot of tennis players are dehydrated. So cramps happen to tennis players a lot. What can you do prior to your match to be ready? Now, like I said, I just created a video on how to fuel your body uh, before matches. So click up uh, up here to watch that video to see how you can properly feel your body before matches. I'll discuss a little bit about it right now, but I don't want to go into too much detail. So it is important to eat clean. You need to cut out all of the crap. If you are any sort of a high level tennis player, uh, whether that be like, if you can, it doesn't matter your level. If you want to be the best and you consider yourself uh, a good player, solid player, you got to cut out the crap. You also need to be hydrated and you need to get lots of sleep. Those are kind of my three rules of thumb to start with before your matches. That's just like a general good rule of thumb, like whether you're an athlete or not an athlete, but those things will definitely help if you are an athlete. Second thing that you can do prior to your match is your fitness. Now also, I've talked about my fitness a lot in previous videos. Click up into this video right here to see eight exercises to help you with your tennis game. I take great pride in my fitness and tennis, you need to be doing everything required with your physical fitness. You need to be flexible, you need to be strong, you need to have endurance, you need to have cardio, you need to have it all. So go to the gym, 
work on those things so you can be a better athlete. So those are just some housekeeping items. So if you're complaining about cramps and you don't do any of those things that I just talked about, stop this video because you got to go do those things first. So now if you have done those things, this is what you can do to avoid some cramps. The first thing that I do, and I do it every morning actually, is I take, let me find it here, I take a calcium and magnesium, calcium, magnesium, and zinc with vitamin D3. So really the only thing that I wanna talk about here is magnesium. Magnesium is extremely important to having your body, and a lot of the times when we do cramp, we're short in magnesium, calcium, and potassium. So I take three of these supplements every morning just to keep up with my intake. And it's also helpful if you do eat uh, foods that are high in magnesium, like uh, leafy greens or uh, foods high in potassium, like uh, bananas as well. So this is something that I do every morning, just eat it, or I guess you don't eat supplements, but you have them with my breakfast every morning. That's the first thing. The second thing, like I said, it's really important to bring lots of water on court, staying hydrated. I know I'm re-saying this a lot, but being hydrated, you gotta, you gotta stay hydrated. The next thing, talked about this in my previous video as well, have a go-to electrolyte drink. Now this is like a really healthy version of Gatorade. It's called Sustain. I put this in a water bottle, bring it out on court for practices and matches. Awesome stuff. Next thing, another drink. I talked about this in my other video as well. It's Pedialyte, not the healthiest option. However, is really good for cramps and has a lot of electrolytes. So Pedialyte is a really good one. Has helped me get out of uh, some sticky situations and some matches. Next thing on to some more food stuff, Cliff Bars. Once again, talked about this one in my other video. But having something to snack on in a match is super important if you're feeling a little bit weak, even just in general to have during your match, but I like these for cramps as well. The next thing are bananas. Now you see all ATP and WTA pros eating bananas on court. They are lifesavers. They have lots of potassium in them. That is one of the things that happens when your body cramps, not enough potassium. So eat bananas. The next thing, Moving on to something that isn't necessarily food is Advil. So depending on the match, not something I'm really proud of either is taking Advil. Um, you can take Advil. I do it, I take it before matches if I know it could be a tough one just to have in my system. But I also might take it after if I do have a cramp because it has been proven that it does help with muscle cramps. And one of my favorite things to help with cramps that I have just discovered last week when I did cramp is Biofreeze. Now this stuff is legendary. Let me tell you that right now. So I did cramp uh, last week and I went to see the trainer immediately after I finished because I shook the guy's hand and I kind of fell over because I couldn't stand up and because of the cramps. And she said, okay, okay, come over here. Let me get some Biofreeze on you. She sprayed this stuff on me and I sat down for maybe like two minutes, I got up and I felt like a million bucks. So Biofreeze is definitely something um, to look into. You can get it as the creams, you can get it as the gels, and I have the spray one because in future matches, if I feel a cramp, I'm spraying that stuff on my legs or wherever I'm cramping as soon as possible because that stuff helped a lot. The one other thing I forgot to mention too that isn't like something you put into your body, it's something you do before matches as well and that is to do a proper warm up. I know I've talked about warming up properly in uh, previous videos, but guys, some of the stuff that is so easy can help you uh, not suffer from cramps. Like doing a proper warm up, get the heart rate going, do some band stuff, skip, jump rope, uh, stretch. Like this is uh, things that people don't actually do. Like um, I seen like when I was at junior nationals, like people get called out to matches and they're not warming up and then they're out there and they're like, oh, my leg. Well, of course, like you're two games into your match and you're cold. Like a five minute warm up is not gonna do it. And in college tennis, let me tell you, if you're not playing the doubles and then you go on for singles, 
like that's an hour, hour and a half where you're not playing. So you need to warm up, you need to get the body warm and that will help you from cramps. So now I wanna talk about some things that I have heard of but not have not yet tried for cramps. So the first thing that I've heard of and I think a lot of pros and maybe even some college players use this is cramps away gel. Uh, I heard this thing is like the magical solution to cramps. However, I've not tried it. It's just like a little gel packet that you might be able to get uh, online. I think they even have their own website, but I think Isner is in fact sponsored by these guys and he swears by it. So something to check into. If you guys have used that, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Uh, I might give it a try. The second thing is pickle juice. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna try this one because pickles and pickle juice, not my cup of tea at all. So, don't know if I'll be trying that one, but a lot of people have said that that uh, works wonders. So I think what happens in the science behind of that is that it actually sets off a, a reaction in your nervous system and then I think something must happen. But I did a little bit of reading on it, something to do with your nervous system, which is kind of interesting. And the last thing uh, is mustard, M mini mustard mini packets. I actually had a buddy of mine that used to use mustard in matches, and it, a junior buddy of mine actually, and he said it works. And apparently it is a thing, I looked it up. Having little mustard mini packets, if you feel like you're gonna cramp, uh, does apparently do the trick. I think it has something in it that, uh, that makes the cramps go away or makes them uh, not happen. So those are some things to uh, keep in mind, and if you guys have tried any of those, let me know. The one other thing that I forgot to mention uh, that I do is coconut water. That's a good one. I take that on court uh, a lot. Sometimes they don't have regular coconut water, so I even take sparkling coconut water on court. Uh, not as good as regular coconut water, but coconut water is really high in potassium. So one of those things uh, that is really important to have in your body when you're playing a match. So that's right, potassium and magnesium super important and to have salt in your body too is important so keep that in mind so that is going to be it guys i hope i was able to you know clear up some things hopefully hopefully uh you're not going to be cramping as much because you've just watched this video and uh sometimes cramps they're still going to happen so keep that in mind just because you watch this video or you watch another video about how not to cramp doesn't mean you're not gonna cramp because we see guys and girls on the pro tours cramping all the time. And these guys and girls are the best at what they do in the world. So it does happen, but I just wanted to show you some things that really help me. And I'm sure many other people at the higher levels do a lot of these things that I do as well. So there you guys have it. Leave a comment uh, about what you, what you guys do for your cramps uh, and let me know what you think of my suggestions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and of course, more content to come. We'll see you guys in the next video.